what we're going to do today is make a kite. And I'm using a piece of paper that's square. It is five and seven eighths on each side, but you can use any size of paper as long as you make it a square for this project. First fold we're going to make is called a valley fold. That's just where you take your paper from one corner to the other and fold it together so it's got a V or a valley pointing downward. And we're going to form a triangle. Try to get it right on the corner as closely as you can. And it helps me to push out to the middle and then out to the corners. And there you have your triangle and your valley. And with your paper facing with the opening out to the right, take this right hand corner sticking out here, the point of your triangle, right there, and fold it back to this crease. Fold it back to the line. And I definitely won't call myself an expert at this, but I just have fun with it. But be as precise with your folds as you can. It helps with the finished product. See, I'm just folding this along this edge. You crease it down as sharply as you can. You end up with it looking like that. This fold is over here. And we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So flip it over. Fold it over to the other edge so it'll be an exact match to your other side. So now that side looks like that too. Now from that last fold that we just made, take the point of this paper and fold it over to this edge. So you've got a straight line there and the point of that corner is now touching this edge. We need to do the other side that way so flip it over and take the point of this white paper and fold it over to this edge. So we have both sides that now look the same. And the good news is those are all the folds that we need to make. Now we just have to pull it out and form it into the kite. So take a hold of each of these flaps that are sticking out and we're going to pull them out so it can stand upright. And so you can see now it's kind of three-dimensional. It's standing up off the table and it's got the peak to it and the height to it. Now we need to make some holes for the string for the kite and the tail. And we're going to make those holes here, here, and down at the bottom, and this is where the tail goes. But first I'm going to reinforce those three places with a little bit of tape. That way this kite will hold up a little bit longer when the wind is blowing and the string is pulling and it won't be just a one and done kite. We can use it over and over again. So a little reinforcement with tape can really help a lot. I'm just going to cut off some small pieces and place them where my holes will go. One over there. One over here. And the last one down here at the bottom. I'm going to use a straight pin and a nail to make my holes. Poking first through with the straight pin and then with the nail. And making sure I'm getting through the tape. And there's my little hole with the straight pin and there's my bigger hole with the nail. It's just easier to get it started with the straight pin. And then the last hole at the bottom for the tail. And we're done. There's our three holes. And now we're going to put some string from here to here. And my piece of string is about 14 inches long. You might have to poke it through with your nail. And then tie a knot on the back side of that. Maybe use two knots, don't want it to pull through. And I don't want to tie it around the paper because that would crimp it. So I'm going to do that through the other side. And that one went through a little easier. Tie your knot and I'll tie another one. Then with scissors we can cut off the excess back here. 
Just looks a little better. Who knows, may even fly a little better. So I've got the string attached now. Now I want to make something for a tail. And for the tail, I'm just going to use this old plastic grocery sack that I have and cut it down the middle. Cut it again over here. So what I'm left with is this ring that I cut out. Not a perfect cut, but it'll do. And so I'm gonna cut that in half. So I've got a nice long kite tail. The harder part will be getting the tail stuck through this hole at the bottom. So we'll use our nail and try to get it to go through. And with just a little poking and twisting, I got the tail through there. And I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on the back of that to hold it in place. So now all we really have to do is attach the main string onto the front of the kite. There's the center, and I'm gonna tie a little simple knot there. But there you have it, the kite's done. We're ready to go. I'm gonna go outside and see if we've got enough wind to actually fly it today. Mike could have used a bigger tail, but it does fly and it's just pretty cool. It's going up there. Might try adding a little more tail to it and see what happens. I think the longer tail helps, it makes it more stable, so you can play with that as needed, but it flies and it's pretty fun and pretty easy to make. Awesome. And that's a great little kite, simple to make, very few folds. The young children can make it or you can make it for them and let them fly it, but I'm going to try this out with my grandson and I think he's going to love it. The design isn't a classic kite shape that you might buy in the store, it is a classic design from Turkey. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you would. And hey, go fly a kite.